Welcome back to the Mechanical Dawn. And we're well underway. Um, last episode, we had some problems getting enough influence to get the uh, potentially continental world underway. We didn't manage to sneak in a single frontier outpost, or just to lower the cost of that potential continental world later on. So, at least we have that. Um, we got not enough stuff in our territory to mine, really. We're waiting for some border growth to happen. But that may be a little while, so... Yeah. We could send over a single ship as well. Alien Mural. Fascinating. Yeah, we're researching all of these other ones as well. Which is good. The crystalline uh, entity observation is nice, too. Uh, did we get the Habitable World Survey? Yeah, we just need two more. We can get two more Habitable Worlds. We should be getting enough influence, actually, come to think of it. So let's survey this world and this world. And after that, we can go and continue uh, surveying all those systems. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me survey... Was it this one? Yeah, let me survey this world. And then... Oh, it, it's already surveyed. Great. Um, God damn it. Okay, let's survey this world. And this world. That should allow us to do what we need to do. Okay, don't have any colony ships. Their fleet is twice as big as ours. That was to be expected. Energy is at a bit of a limit at the moment. Mm. Let's move you into here. Uh, we're not producing a lot of local energy, actually. Let's take a look at Secundus. There are options for energy production. Mm hmm let's move you into here and get a mine going and another robot pop. Yes, I am aware that will cost us even more energy that we currently don't have, but... Uh, we're trying to kind of scramble for resources at the moment. It's a bit of a worrying development. And this one is not in our... our range yet. Okay, the remote amoeba. Let's do those. And the alien mural and grow. Okay, good. Okay, we did not get any influence from this event. That is highly annoying. Okay, so that was a dud. So that's a bit of a shame. Just have to continue surveying every single star system within range. And hope that we can get something that involves influence. I am not particularly positive about uh, about what's going on with that. But yeah, if we build a frontier outpost here, it wouldn't be very useful either. How much would it cost anyway? 152. Yeah, just as much as building this colony. So let's just uh, enter orbit around this star. Our influence is currently a bit shit. Um, what are our options here, really? We can't upgrade any of our energy plants. We could put an energy plant in here. And then offset that with a single person. Though our borders did just grow a little bit, and that means that we now have access again. Uh, where are you? Okay, you're over here. So we should be able to do some stuff in here. Fascinating indeed. Energy credits plus 5. Good. And damage to void clouds plus 10. Is this within our, in our range? No, it is not. Highly annoying. Still manageable for now. So we're currently at plus zero. We're just waiting for additional systems to come into our place. 
Still no factions, funnily enough. They should be spawning soon. Ah, a cup of coffee is always good. We can't even upgrade Secundus, but I'm not particularly keen on that. How about Mechanicum Prime? Hmm, yeah, we don't have too many options at the moment. And we can't spend influence to generate more influence, I'm afraid. Expansion would have been a better option. But we're learning. Learning! Learning is fun. Who doesn't agree that learning is fun? The ruby stack. We've got good vision on all of these, though, so that's at least positive. 744 is way too strong. Okay, that's Mechanicum Prime. Let's move you over to here. So we're plus six again. I can handle that. And right now we're kind of lacking in the engineering department. So let's move you into here. Okay, Secundus has done everything that we needed to do. It's just building a bunch of robot pops right now. Okay, 10% failure rate. Collision with its primary. Okay, what kind of enemies we got here? Missile based. You already established this. And they have small fusion reactors, though. I thought I had smooth small fusion reactors as well. He says, as gravimetric sensors come off the production line. Uh, lethargic gas, shield hit points, physics lab. Let's go for the fusion reactor. We get a bonus because of uh, our neighbors already having it. So we get a 25% reduction. Which is pretty good. Uh, observe moon impact. We need to do this fast. Uh, a science ship with skill 3 or higher. Where is this? Okay, I want you to do this research project. And afterwards, we can continue surveying whatever. Okay, good. Yeah, we're kind of struggling at the moment, influence-wise. Uh, this, um, this outpost did kind of help us quite a lot. So our Admiral has died. Yeah, because definitely that's something that we needed. Okay, so we know I don't have an Admiral, and we cannot afford one for at least another 20 months. Which is two years. It's doable. I'm not too worried about it. As soon as you're done here, you can survey these systems. We did have a governor level, so... How's our demographics? Are we mostly robot? Uh, no, we're mostly human at the moment. <laughs> All right, Secundus. Um, how much does it cost to upgrade this? Does it cost influence? No, it just costs minerals. We don't really have any reason to do so right now. This would just cost upkeep. So let's do that. Um, if I build a colony ship now, it will impact the economy pretty heavily. So it's a little bit early. So let's build a bunch of Corvettes. Uh, we need six. This is six of them. So let's build eight to max out our fleet power. We still got 400 left, so that's more than enough to upgrade our ships um, to do some of our other upgrades later. Uh, okay, physics research has been increased. We got plus 200 food. We seem to be doing okay. Hmm... Yeah, I'm not really happy with the fact that these aliens are here. We're getting quite a lot of border friction as well. And they don't like us because we're an oligarchy, but, you know, whatever. It's not something that I'm particularly uh, worried about. Uh, which level is this? Level 4. Uh, it cannot even do the projects. So. Derelict cruiser. Does it translate alien mural? 
Um, let's do the alien mural, and then by the time it should have leveled to the point that it can get the next tier. Building speed costs has been reduced. Corvette assembly yards, kind of nice. How long? 72 months. Let's go for it. They've built a planet there. That is potentially really bad. We're still 10 months away before we can colonize that world. Okay, we got a faction. Oh, thank law, thank the gods. It gives us two in uh, two influence a month. All right, it's built this colony ship. Let's get the fuck out of there. The Association of Technological Progress managed the faction. Yes, we we want this. Three empires they want. Machine love, AI is allowed, bleeding edge. We want to be more than equivalent in technology. We'll uh, we'll make them happy. Don't take this goddamn planet. I need it. I desperately need it. We're now getting plus three a month. Uh, I got a construction ship here. The star has not been surveyed. What? Okay, four. Come on, Mechanicum. Okay, we got aliens. Okay. Um, I'm going to start our corporations. Okay. The Mechanicum seems to be doing okay at the moment. Just waiting for the single colony ship to come off the production line. You, sir, you have a lab you can work with. I don't know what the hell these guys are. We're currently researching it anyway, so it's not a problem. We'll make first contact with them soon. Okay, the border range still worrying. Hmm. Can we build another potential outpost? We should be able to. Okay, what do we got? Fusion reactor, that's nice. Improved deflectors, capacity overload, and all that stuff. Cool, let's upgrade our fleets. We need them anyway. Okay. Okay, we got a new species. And we got influence for it, that's good. Uh, our warriors salute you. Yeah, that's fine by me. Okay, deflectors. Let's get a fusion reactor on this biatch. Uh, do you have any other slots available? No, no, no. Oh, tech two. So let's put a single fusion reactor on there and then upgrade all this stuff. Good. Come on. I cannot afford losing that size 23 planet. It's too important to me. Uh, these guys. Who are you guys? They are neutral to us. Let's give you a trade deal. Here, I'll give you a mineral a month. For 30 years. Here, make it two. Feeling generous. Good. good. Special college has been completed. Oh, this Pathfinder has increased... Stuff quite significantly. That's nice. Uh, trade deal. Research. Booyah. One mineral. Enjoy. I don't. I don't care if you are equivalent or not to us. So. Non-aggression pact increases trust by fifty. That's good. Let's do it. Come on. Where's the civvy ship? It's almost there. Ooh, plus eight. Uh, how much would it cost to build a... Did I just cancel everything? Yes, I did. I'm an idiot. How much would it cost to build an influence station here? Too much. Although... Let's not press our luck just yet. <laughs> Come on. Where is this colony ship? There it is. Cool. Okay, so the ISS provider. Uh, adjacency bonuses. This is a crazy good planet, actually, come to, come to think of it. Let's put you in here. Um, 
Forge World. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, yeah, this will do. Forge World Antioch. That will be our next world. Uh, that one is now going out. Good. The construction ship over here. I really hope we can build a frontier outpost in here. That would make life so much easier. we got 600 minerals available at the moment. Pops are growing. That's always nice. Secundus is at a position where we can finally upgrade it. So let's do that. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with this, sadly. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, so this one has been refunded. So let's... What? Uh, okay. Apparently I'm not allowed to build a frontier outpost over there. Not entirely sure what the fuck. Come on. It's a plus eight minerals. I want it. I want it bad. Oh, I can build it next month anyway. So let's do that. There we go. I won't be able to, to grab that uh, that thing over there. But where's my colony ship? It's so far away still. Okay. Mechanicum is doing fine. Uh, we're losing a bunch of stuff at the moment because of the uh, joys. Wow, everybody's friends with everybody. Such fun. Very wow. Okay. What can we do here? We got any additional territory that we can do stuff with? Yes, we can. Great. Finally, some additional resources we can pump into our systems. So our borders are still steadily growing. Still a worrying development over here. That's about one third way there, so it's not the end of the world. We can upgrade some of this stuff. We got them off energy to last as a lifetime, so let's upgrade all these mines. We're just waiting for Secundus to be ready with the um, Cryotical project is completed. Erasian artifact has been added. Yeah, but because of the way our uh, economy works, we got a lot of minerals coming out relatively quickly due to our robotic population. So there's that, at least. We just don't have much space to expand into. This is physics lab. Yes, please. Bit of a crunch situation this episode. Kind of struggling at the moment. There's not much territory to expand into. Okay, Secundus has finished its queue, which means that we can upgrade the energy plants, which is what we want. Curator Lambda? Hello there, Curator Lambda. Where is Curator Lambda? Is it all the way down here somewhere? I don't even know where you guys are. Where are those guys hanging out? Curator... Oh, all the way down there? Okay. Well, I guess... I, I, I guess that's a thing. Okay, let's upgrade all these mines. Okay, we have our first. Second colony is coming underway nicely. We have a couple of decent routes into there, which is acceptable. And this will be on our first real forge world. So we can actually focus on our economy a little bit. Which is uh, kind of lacking at the moment, as I've already mentioned. Food is fine. Uh, this lab, we only have engineering facilities at the moment. Uh, okay, so Scundus uh, Engineering, that's this one. We can afford that. And this mine can be upgraded, no problem. Okay, 22 months until this planet will be upgraded. I'm surprised how much these, uh, these Xenos like us. Especially these guys. They got four worlds. We have three. Um, did we ever max out our fleet? I don't think we did. 
Mm-hmm. Well, that's positive at least. Um, okay, this is going to come online very shortly. Let's hope it's going to give us enough reach. Yes, it does. That is super hype, and I'm really happy with that. That's a lot of additional energy that we can pump into the system. So there's four additional energy and an eight mineral uh, planetoid over there as well. I'm kind of tempted. Okay, United Valiant Combine, military to state dictatorship. Cool. Another species nearby. They don't like us very much. Special project, plus three uh, stuff being added here. That's good. We can probably start doing this crazy difficult uh, tech stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now with this this setup here. I may, though, move one of the... Uh, the, I may move the influence outpost one system over and then deconstruct this one. I think that will be a much better solution to what we have right now. Okay, so scientist is leveled. Okay, so let's build a frontier outpost in here. Uh, actually, let's ignore everything and do it right the fuck now, if we can. Antioch is coming along nicely. We have a lot of good territory. And uh, on that bombshell, we're going to wrap up this episode. It's been a pretty good one. We've we got a lot of shit done. We managed to get a new planet. We got our first faction, the Association Technology. We gave the middle finger to our neighbors, even though we're friends with them right now, but we've gained a lot of additional territory, and I feel really positive about our current situation, even though our choices in traditions were probably not the best ones, but you get the general idea there. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode, and until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.